Hello? Oh, thank God. You're in the house, right? Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Max. I'm one of the employees at your new job, but that's not important right now. What is important is for you to get out of there. I know someone hired you to watch over the house tonight because the family who is living there is on vacation, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know who told you that this house needed some sort of protection, but I'm pretty sure it was a prankster. You need to get out of there. That house you're in is apparently extremely haunted, and according to some files I have here, nobody has been living there for years. I'm, I'm not sure what kind of hauntings that exist in that house, but one thing is clear. I'm sure they are trying to get to you by playing with your mind. You might even go crazy and see the exit door as a hallway, for example. Stay focused, alright? I could come over, but I'm afraid that can make things even worse. Now, you must not move from the spot you're on during the night, alright? It's extremely dangerous in this situation. It's a good thing you put up the cameras throughout the building. Use them well, but keep in mind that you can only use them for a limited amount of time at once. Watch the power meter to make sure you don't need to charge it all the way back up. If someone should come in on the left-hand side, look to the opposite side of the room and wait. Don't look at your camera, just wait. You don't want to make eye contact, understand? Though in this room they might sneak up behind you as well, I'm guessing you will then see them in the mirror above the fireplace. If this should happen, immediately pull up your camera to make them go away. Got it? You should also watch them on the camera as often as you can, as it somehow makes them go a bit slower, I think? <sighs> Once the sun rises, you are free to look for the exit, but remember, as I said, you might have trouble finding it. Heck, <laughs> they might even shut the doors and windows completely. If you don't find a way out by tomorrow night, I'll, I'll give you another call. 
but do not, and I repeat, do not stay in the same room two nights in a row, okay? That will make you easier to find. Good night. Um, hello? You're still there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm just glad that you're okay. Now, where are you? The bathroom. All right, good choice. Though I'm unsure if you have a lot to protect yourself with in there. Hmm. Wait. Is there a medicine cabinet in there? If there is, take a look inside. See if you can find some medicine of some sort. I've heard that the effect that is created as soon as you take some types of medicine will drive the spirits away. Don't ask how. Maybe the reaction the medicine creates makes them think that you're dead or something. Either way, I think this is your only hope. Stay quiet, track them on the camera, and if they should find you, quickly swallow a pill or something. Then they should hopefully go away. Take the strongest medicine you can find. 
However, strong medicines often come with some side effects, like temporary loss of long-distance vision, loss of short-distance vision, paralysis, etc. But don't worry, these side effects will go away shortly. Keep moving during the day, okay? And I'll call you again tomorrow if you're still there. Be careful. Um, hello? You're still there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm just glad that you're okay. Now, where are you? The bathroom. All right, good choice. Though I'm unsure if you have a lot to protect yourself with in there. Hmm.
Hi, hi, this is Max. I'm, I'm just checking to see how you're doing. So, how did it go last night? You didn't feel sick or anything after eating those pills, did you? <laughs> huh? Did you take the very strong medicine? Oh, boy. Well, um, I was the one who told you to do so. So, um, the thing is, the side effects from those strong medicines don't come straight away. This means you might experience them tonight. Uh, the most common side effect is hallucination. You might think you see a normally friendly face that you've seen before, but since you're currently in this frightening situation, you might see it as something truly evil. If you see something strange on the camera, quickly switch to another camera or pull it down. If you see a hallucination in your office though, you should then pull your pad up again. You just want to look away quickly before your mind tricks you completely. Now, in this bedroom, you have a neat tool. This is probably where the parents slept and they wanted to control the whole house. Do you see the cable on the ground that leads into the wall? Have you plugged it into your pad? Good. Now you can make static noises play in the room you're looking at by simply touching your pad. If you see some familiar ghosts, try tapping the screen many times. Hopefully the noise will scare them away because you don't really have anything else to protect yourself within there. Okay, good night and stay safe. Hi, hi again. Um, I thought about calling you a little bit earlier, but you see, I got caught up in this news report. The police are looking for a man who has gone missing, possibly a criminal. His name was Richard, 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 Richard something or other, I think. Pretty weird, because they interviewed some of his friends, and, you know, they all described him as a pretty friendly guy. Anyway, never mind. So, you're standing at the top of the stairs. Well, that's both good and bad at the same time. You're standing in the dark corner, right? Okay, anyone who comes in from the second floor should only be able to see your face, or more precisely, your eyes. So, if you see a shadow from the door light on the floor there, quickly cover your eyes with your hands. Though the longer you cover your eyes, the longer it takes for your eyes to get used to the dark again. Keep that in mind. But then there's the first floor. They can see you more clearly from there. You must watch the cameras to see if anyone is coming for you. The room closest to the stairs in the first floor is the, um, the, the, the old living room, I think. So, if you see someone in the living room, keep watching them on the camera for as long as you can. 
they will know that you're watching and they should eventually go away. So remember, if you see someone in that room, stare at them through the camera, because if you don't look at them long enough, they will probably rush through the door, up the stairs, and do something to you. Have you got it? Good. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Hello, hello!
high, high again.
Good evening! Good evening! Hope you're having a good time in that house. So, <laughs> found the exit yet? Found a way out? Found anything at all? Or does every door just lead to a wall of bricks? <laughs> so fun, so fun! I've been watching you. Indeed I have. And I must say, you look so much like him. The last face.